What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look about everything that I carry with me in my tackle bag. Now, I know I do a video like this every year, and it's been a little bit over a year since I've done this type of video, so I think we're a little bit overdue. So without further ado, let's take a look about what's inside my tackle bag. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this is it. This is my tackle bag that I've been using for the past year and a half. This is the Guggen Squad Tackle Backpack. I love this bag. I used to have the Tackle Warehouse Angler Backpack, and I gotta say this one here is the best bag I've ever used. It's very similar to that bag, but we're gonna get into the contents of it. So I think the first thing we need to go over is I usually do these videos like I go through all the tackle first and then I go through the outside and stuff, but I think this time we're just going to go through the outside first, a little different this year. So first off, front pocket, I usually put anything I really need to dry in here, like a bait or whatever, but right now I just have my clippers, basic pair of fingernail clippers, use these to cut um, monofilament fluorocarbon and braid. They do cut braid really well if they're not dull. Um, this pair is a dollar store pair and it's pretty sharp still, been using that one for quite a while and come over here i usually keep my water bottles on this side so i carry two 32 ounce water bottles um and that's usually the only thing i really keep in there really really useful for that side pocket unzip it full zip first things first i got my my scale i've had this scale for quite a while this is my berkeley grip and weigh scale the clip broke on it quite a while ago, so I went ahead and replaced it myself, but it's very accurate. I've been testing it. It works really, really well. Pliers, basic pair of uh, Berkley uh, pliers right here with the needle nose. Very, very useful. And then the rest of my tools, I keep them here. First of all, I got a pair of hemostats just in case the pliers don't cut it for, you know, if I have a really, really deep hook or something or if I'm trout fishing or I need some smaller pairs of pliers, those really help. I have my wacky tool. This thing's great. It's a Bass Pro Shops one. Really, really great for uh, wacky rigging. Got all my O-rings on there. That's pretty cool. It's my pocket knife right here. It says Battle of the Bulge on it from World War II. And my this is really special to me. My grandfather was actually in that battle, so it means a lot to me. And lastly, I have a pair of mini pliers just in case. It's got a few screwdrivers and stuff on there. A little mini multi-tool. Moving on to the other side pocket. It's got two of them, each of them fully zip open. First things first, I got a couple Walmart bags in case I need to pick up trash or if I wanna keep a fish. I got a bunch of hook bonnets because whenever I have um, a bait that needs to dry or something, I'll go ahead and grab it, put some of these hook bonnets on, I'll stuff it in this pocket to dry. It really uh, present, prevents rust. I have a cloth in case I have to wipe fish slime off my hands or if I have you know, some blood on my hands or something, I need to wipe it off. I got, in this bag, I got some scent, I got my spike it, my fish sticks, uh, and I have a Berkeley tape measure, in case I ever have to measure my fish. Got a Sharpie, never know when you're gonna need something like that, I guess. And I got my fish grips, these are Bass Pro Shops fish grips. Really, really like them, I got the drawstring on them so I don't lose them. Had them for quite a while now, they do their job. And that looks like about it for those two side pockets. All right, moving on to this front pocket. It's a full zip pocket as well. So these zips down. We'll worry about that stuff in a second, but I'll go ahead and remove it. I like this pocket because it's huge. I can store a bunch of stuff in here. I'll we'll start with these pockets here. And this one I have my fishing licenses, a few documents in there, registration papers. I got uh, this Blistex sunscreen. Um, it's really, really good for like your lips in the summertime. Uh, I got a cheap poncho for a dollar at Walmart. You never know when it's gonna rain or something. And these are very, very useful for when it rains. And if you gotta go, you gotta go. I always have some toilet paper in here as well. Imagine that. Moving on to the second pocket, I've got, uh, let's see what I got in here. I got some Band-Aids, insulin needles, I'm a diabetic, never know when you're gonna need those. Cotton swabs, and this is pretty cool. This is uh, Motion Ease. It's uh, an essential oil you put behind your ears, it stops you from getting motion sick. Never know if I'm on a boat or something like that, and I'm gonna get seasick. 
another bag in here. Looks like I have a emergency survival blanket I've never used. My dad actually gave that to me. He's had it since the 90s. I've actually never even used it. And I have a lighter in here in case I ever have to start a fire. And then I have another one of these uh, tool lanyards in case I get a tool and I don't want to lose it. I can just attach it to my bag. And uh, last thing in this pocket, I have this little bracelet. Um, my dad made me for when I was little. I guess I just keep it in here for good luck. Had it a long time though, it's pretty old. And that should do it for those two pockets. Moving on to the rest of the stuff here. All right, so this bag actually conveniently folds open and then you have all my boxes over there. Let's go through these pockets real quick. I've got my spinner baits and buzz baits. I'm gonna go ahead and go through those real quick. All right, so in my spinner baits, I keep in these, uh, this KVD lure wrap. Works really, really well for, uh, you know, maintaining your baits and just holding them together. So let's see here. Uh, start with, I gotta restock on a lot of things. So I got a uh, half ounce um, Bass Pro Shops laser eye spinner bait, trailer hook attached um, with a giant uh, willow leaf blade on it. I'm probably using this one in deeper water, so um, when it's a lot colder or on extremely windy days. I have a mini, I think it's a Strike King, Mini King, I believe is what it's called, black and blue, really great for, uh, you know, like smaller bass or something like that. I don't really use it very much. Um, we also have a, I think this is a Northland Tackle um, Buckeye Spinnerbait, I believe. Missing an eye on it, we got a trailer hook attached. And this is just, I believe, just a regular 3 8 ounce spinnerbait. Don't use it too much. Um, I got a couple Terminator spinnerbaits that I have not used in quite a while. I got a white Terminator spinnerbait, the trailer hook attached. Had it for a long time, used it a lot, caught a lot of bass on it. Got uh, another Bass Pro Shops laser eye spinnerbait. This is a 3 8 ounce black and red with a nighttime blade on it, mainly using this one at night. Then this is a Sunrise Craw Terminator spinnerbait without a trailer hook. I usually don't use this one very much. I'm not the biggest fan of the color, but it does catch fish. Caught a lot of fish on it right there. All right, I keep my buzz baits in this uh, soft plastic bag right here, waterproof. So I figured it'd be pretty good for holding my buzz baits. And let's see, how many am I carrying in here? Quite a few, I believe. So we'll go through these one by one right here. First off, I have a Strike King buzz bait right here with trailer hook. Um, caught a lot of bass on it. It's a pretty good buzz bait. Had it for quite a while. I believe this one here is a 3 8 ounce. I have a, this is a Booyah. This is a half ounce Booyah clacker, clacking buzz bait, white with trailer hook. I got a few Terminator buzz baits as well. I got a, I think it's a quarter ounce black. Terminator without trailer hook. I got a Guggen Baits buzz bait in uh, black and blue. I believe this is a 3 8 ounce. It says right there with the gold blade with trailer hook. Catches a lot of bass. And then I have a quarter ounce Terminator black and yellow, or I should say, or uh, sorry, white and chartreuse spinner bait with a smaller blade on it. Works really, really well right there. All right, moving on. Next pocket. Uh, I got my leader's fools. I got some 14 pound Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. I like using this when I'm fishing braid. 80% um, of the time when I'm fishing braided line, I'm using a fluorocarbon leader. Or I'm using this, which is 12 pound mono I'm usually using when I'm fishing a topwater bait. And I have a beanie in here for when it gets extremely cold so recently when i've been out fishing i've been wearing this beanie because it is extremely cold outside and this thing right here will save your ass and that about does it for that so now we can move on to this stuff and uh this stuff so now we can move on to these walmart bags and my sunglasses i think we're going to start with my sunglasses though these are uh pull them out for you guys 
So these glasses are the uh, Oakley Flak 2.0 XLs. Really nice glasses. You can get them for about 180 bucks. I'm pretty pleased with them. I've been using them for quite a while now, and they work pretty well. I actually switched from the Oakley Flak jackets to the Oakley Flak 2.0 XLs, and I'm very, very pleased with what has come out of that. All right, uh, let's start with this. So right here, these are all my soft plastics. So I got two bags of these. I got my least used soft plastics, and then I have my most used soft plastics. So we'll go over my most used first. Kind of see what I got in here. Starting off, Strike King Bitsy Tubes in Watermelon Copper Craw. I've been hammering the smallies on these recently. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, really, really good bait right there. Um, next, we got a really old pack of Bass Pro Shops Tournament Tubes. Um, not sure the color. I think it's like a black red flake. I catch a lot of bass on these recently too. Yum Christy Craws, Green Pumpkin, Carrion 4. So what I'll do is I'll um, keep the majority of my plastics uh, in my closet and I'll carry um, a few of each color in my bag just to reduce the weight. I got Strike King Swimming Caffeine Shads in Green Pumpkin Pearl. These are absolutely amazing. Catch a lot of fish on those. Uh, Zoom Super Flukes in White Pearl. Some of them are dyed from my Spike It. Really, really good bait fish imitation if you want to imitate a wounded bait fish. Uh, Zoom Brush Hogs in Watermelon Candy. These are really, really good. These are probably my favorite punching bait because they're really compact and I like that about them. I got the Berkeley Power Bait Pogi Swim Shad. These have been really good for smallies recently, especially in the cold water. These guys are really nice. Really nice action on those. Um, Strike King Rage Craws. I got some black and blue and I got some green pumpkin in there. Really good for flipping and pitching in the summertime. Uh, Berkeley Chigger Craws. Really, really good for flipping and pitching. And four inch Sankos. I got these ones here are in motor oil. Really, really good. And then I got my five inch Sankos. I got some green pumpkin and some black and blue in there. Really useful. So those are my most used. Now we can move on to my least used. So these are the plastics I don't use as often just because I just don't really have a use for them at the moment. Uh, Berkeley Powerbait Lunchworms in Red Shad. Um, really, really good bait, especially for when the bike gets tough. I like throwing them on a shaky head sometimes. I've actually done pretty good with those recently on a shaky head. They work really well. I got... Zoom Fat Albert Grubs and Green Pumpkin. Really, really great bait, especially for when the bite gets tough. They have a lot of action in the tail. Really good for smallies in the rivers around here. Strike King Coffee Tubes in uh, White Pearl, 4-inch. Really, really good bait. And I got my Zoom um, Super Chunk Juniors for all my jig trailers. And these work really, really well for when, um, basically for any jig trailer that's not a swim jig, these things right here are really nice. I got those in green pumpkin and black and blue. And these are really good for swim jigs and chatter baits. These are my um, Zoom swimming chunks. And these work really, really well for uh, chatter baits and swim jigs and whatnot. Zoom lizards, probably my favorite bait during the spawning time in the spring. You guys know why. And I got some Bass Pro, or uh, Cabela Swimming Shads for, um, I'm not a big swim bait guy, but um, especially now during this time of year, these things right here can be really, really fire, especially in the springtime too. I got, let's see, Bass Pro Shops Humping Toads, really great for the summertime, don't use them very much though. And lastly, I got my... Uh, Z-Man Minnow Z's. These things are really good. They're like an indestructible swim bait. So 
I really, really like these. These are pretty good. This is mainly just some accessories and stuff that I like to have on the water. Uh, first up, I got a fresh change of clothes just in case I get wet or something unintentionally. I got a fresh pair of underwear. I got a t-shirt. I have an extra neck buff in case uh, I forget my other one or it gets ripped or something. Extra pair of shorts. Fishing gloves just in case uh, it gets really, really cold or something when I'm out on the water. And then in here, I'm not gonna take anything out because I'm low on time, but it looks like I have some Berkeley Gold um, jars in there. I got some snelled hooks for me when I'm trout fishing or pan fishing. And I got some more gulp stuff there. I got another bag here, and that's gonna do it for that. I got some sunscreen, sunglass cleaner, and I have some uh, bug spray, because you never know when you're gonna need that stuff. All right, so next I have three boxes here, but we're only gonna cover two of these because that one bottom one's empty. I only use it for like accessories and stuff. So I guess to start off, we can start off with this box. And this box is pretty basic. I just got some basic stuff in here. It's basically my all-purpose box. I have my swim jigs. I got a few, I got white quarter ounce. I got a few other ones there. They all have, um, they're all Bass Pro Shops enticer swim jigs and they all have zoom swimming chunks on them. Flipping jigs, these are um, Strike King Bitsy Flip flipping jigs, all three eighths ounce. And I got Green Pumpkin Craw, Green Pumpkin, Black, and Black and Blue. Got my basic coverage there. Hair jigs and marabou jigs, got a few of each there. Don't really use them very often. Chatterbaits, uh, all 3 8 ounce, original Z-Man chatterbaits, and I got all swim bait trailers on them. Um, white and chartreuse, black and blue, and then just plain white. And we got a lot of metal here. Spoons, inline spinners, blade baits. Um, you guys know the basics. Got to have that stuff. You never know when you're going to need to go finesse. And I got my frogs. Those are all uh, Bass Pro Shops frogs for the most part. And then I have a live target hollow body sunfish. These things are absolutely amazing. They walk insane. I love the walk on those. And then I basically got all my terminal tackle. I got hooks, bullet weights, sinkers, stuff like that. I got my weight stops. Snaps. I'm a big fan of quick lock snaps. Got my O-rings. Got some jig heads down there. I got some bigger uh, jigging and flutter spoons just in case I'm fishing in extremely deep water. It's a good time to pull those out. Got bobbers, all weighted. I got some steel leader in case I decide to fish for some, you know, like pike, musky, walleye, all that good stuff. That about does it for that box. Moving on to my next box. This is all hard baits in here. So all my hard baits are up in here. I got my square bills and my deep divers in here. I got a few storm square bills. Um, a lot of Rapala um, shad wraps. Um, I have a few Rapala DT10s down there that I uh, use once in a while. I got some smaller uh, crankbaits in here. I have a Guggen Squad Mini Recon. <laughs> Never really pulled that one out, but I definitely should in the near future. Got my jerk baits. These are mainly Rapala jerk baits. I got some in there. Top water. I got a few uh, spooks, a few whopper ploppers in there, a few poppers. Um, lipless crankbaits. My favorite ones to use are the Strike King um, red eye shads. Got chili craw, and I have white shad there. And I got a few Bass Pro Shops generics. More topwater, these are my jitterbugs. Got a collection, probably my favorite topwater bait to fish. And then I just got some other crankbaits that I couldn't find room for in there. Very interesting. And then these baits are just oversized baits that I can't really find a place for. This popper here does not belong in this section. It actually belongs right there in my topwater section. But um, I got some glide baits in there. Giant Rapala Shad Wrap. And, uh, few other crankbaits in there and you know what I think that's gonna do it for everything that I carry with me tackle wise in my tackle bag so thank you guys so much for watching this video 
Um, I just want to give you guys a few specs before we end this video. So my entire tackle bag usually weighs around 18 or 19 pounds without my water. And I usually carry about 32 ounces of water. That's about two and a half, three pounds of water. So it adds up to about 20, 21 pounds of tackle when I'm walking. But when I have filming gear with me, it usually takes about, you know, it's about 22 pounds of tackle that I carry on my back when I fish. So um, my back's used to it. I've been doing it for quite a while. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe, put out new videos every week, stay on the barb, and I'll catch you guys again on the next video. Thanks for watching.